The healer is one of six available roles in Heroes of the Storm. Rather unsurprisingly, they're capable of restoring the HP of allies and themselves. For this reason, the healer is a critical role required in almost all team comps. But in truth, the same can be said for any role. Cough, cough. In addition to the healing abilities, healers are often equipped with effective buffs, CC and dispelling abilities. So why then do we find that there are so few healer mains out there? Blizzard has even implemented a boosted XP incentive to encourage people playing this role in quick match. So let's dive into the healer role and better understand why it's the last to be picked. But before I do that, I should probably preface this video by saying I've been a healer main since the release of the game. So as much as I've never played a professional level, I feel I'm uniquely qualified to impart some advice and wisdom. As of recording this video, there are 16 available healers. At lower competitive ranks, almost all of these healers are playable, though some can be difficult to pick up for beginners. For example, Uther because of his long cooldowns, melee and mana constraints. When you get to higher tier plays, this all changes, and there are preferred picks. You will often hear the terms main healer and off healer being used. This is a result of the prevailing meta, where it was and can be common to run a double healer composition. The main healer's role doesn't change much from what you'd expect. Heal people, CC, utility. While off healers will often have a talent set that allows them to spec into more damaging abilities. For example, Karazim and his Iron Fist, Lili and the Dragon, Tyranda and the Owl and Mark. I often get asked the question, can you carry as a healer main when solo queuing? The short answer is not really. There are plenty of elements to a successful game that is not a healer's main priority, simply because of the tool set you've been given. For example, wave clear, soaking XP, camps, diving and soaking damage. But an effective healer can propel a good team into a winning team comp. The point I'm making here is that in a team game, being an effective team is critical. This is where communication becomes key. All too often do I find assassins diving into the backline with zero support and then blaming the healer. Some of the best advice I can offer to any prospective healer is to be conscious of your positioning. Due to the lack of escape, poor positioning or overextending can result in a very quick death. Your utility in these instances is your only option, though it's better placed on a coordinated attack with allies. For example, a well-timed Malfurion route or Anna Sleep Dart comboed into another tank CC can be devastating for an opposing assassin. The other point to be conscious of is mana and cooldown management. For some healers this is critical and can cause big problems in a team fight if caught off guard. Uther is a great example for cooldowns, and White Mane can rinse through mana if improperly used. I would recommend watching a guide on each healer to learn how to be truly effective. So finally, let's break this down by looking at the positives and negatives. On a positive side, there is boosted XP and reduced queue times, you're always accepted into groups, high and satisfying skill ceilings, and then juicy, juicy upvotes. While on the negative side, you have smaller health pools and easily caught out of position, you're easily blamed, you deal less damage so you don't get the satisfaction of all those kills, and there is an inability to carry by yourself. In summary, I would definitely advocate for an increase uptake in healers. Becoming a good healer will help propel a good team composition into a winning one, and you will definitely get your fair share of appreciation for doing so. If you're a casual player that doesn't have the time to queue, then you might be allured by the reduced cool times and boosted XP. Just think of those loot boxes. As always, feel free to like, dislike or comment on this video. It helps me and the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next upload.